Now we all love watching the best players in the world rip their irons, smoke their driver, but unfortunately for most of us, that just doesn't happen, does it? So today's video, I'm gonna talk about the secret to great ball striking with your driver, your irons, and your fairway woods. So when we watch the best players of the world, it's so impressive the way that with those iron shots, they get over the golf ball, really strike it solidly with a nice, powerful flight on the golf ball and get some pretty decent distances out of the shot. And I think even more impressive is when they get driver out, they get that nice, powerful stance. but produce some effortless power, getting the ball in play. And it is just an absolute pleasure to watch. Now, if you're watching this video though, unfortunately you probably don't hit many iron shots like that and definitely don't get driver going like that. So the big thing I see with most golfers is as they set up over the golf ball, even if they've worked really hard on getting set up correctly, we see thins, we see tops, and just really poor contact with the golf ball when the ball's on the floor. Now, the first question I get asked by golfers when they're doing that is, did I lift my head? Did I lift? Did my eyes come off the golf ball? Well, the big thing for me is, no, they didn't. And if they did lift, we'd want to understand why. And what we need to understand is what's actually happening with the best players in the world when they hit a good golf shot when the ball's on the floor. So when you look at the golf swing from face on, you certainly see how the club moves in that circle around the body. So at some point the club's moving up, then it's down, reaches its lowest point and then continues back up. And all the best players in the world control their low point really well in their golf swing. And anytime the golf ball's on the floor, we want that low point to be ahead of the golf ball. So I think for me, a lot of guys are so obsessed with focusing at the top of the ball or the back that they almost keep their head too still, everything buckles, and they really struggle to maintain any width in the golf swing. So one of the first drills I love to work on is on my mat, I can scuff the mat, but you could put some chalk lines or you could scuff some grass, is to put a line where the golf ball would be and then another line, maybe two, three inches ahead of the ball. And what you're gonna try and do is from your setup on the back line, when you swing, you're gonna get to the top of your back swing. I want you to be looking at the front line, shift the weight into your front leg, and then try and hit that front line. And if you can do that, you are gonna get that low point ahead of the golf ball. The club's gonna collect the ball with forward shaft lean, good strike and get the ball going. So I can still see my little lines there. So I'm gonna put my golf ball on the back line, but I'm gonna look ahead at that front line. Once I get there, focus, move forward towards the target, hit that front line, but I'm not looking at the golf ball now. So definitely felt like I got much nearer that front line. We can see my low point was 3.2 inches ahead. The club then traveled down four degrees. And we can see a perfectly straight golf shot and some really good distance. And I just think in coaching sessions for a lot of golfers to get that focus away from the golf ball and focus on controlling that low point is huge. So many golfers are interested in just making contact with it, getting it in the air. They actually don't focus enough on what they're trying to do. So if you get there, you've got that ball fairly central with seven iron. Again, let's have that low point ahead of the golf ball. Again, swing felt really good. We can see my low point three and a half inches ahead. Clubs travel down 3.8 degrees. 162 yards carry and 174 total. Right, so that moves us from the irons into the fairway woods and hybrids. Now, again, a misconception for me with a lot of golfers is that when they're here, they're told that they need to sweep the ball away and get the club really shallow through impact. They're not wrong, 
but we still need that low point to be ahead of the golf ball, but not quite as far ahead as we had it with the irons. So then the idea being that if we were setting up with the seven iron with the ball in the middle, and my lowest point was three and a half inches ahead, if I were to then move that ball an inch forward of center and still focus ahead, because the ball's further forward in my stance, now the low point shouldn't be quite as far ahead. The club should travel in a bit more shallow and I should be able to hit my fairway woods and long irons. So again, I would have that practice swing, change my ball position, still looking after the golf ball. And as ever, with no golf ball, it feels remarkably simple. But let's see with uh, three wood if I can maintain that. Swing felt good. I'm now two inches ahead. So we can see the clubs traveled down 2.2 degrees. So definitely more shallow through impact. 230 yards carry and 260 yards total. Now the distances are a little bit irrelevant. That's down to my speed of swing. Now what you will find though is potentially if you're a little bit slower club head speed, that maybe something like a three wood, when you do that, doesn't launch the ball very high and therefore potentially you shouldn't be using three wood but that is definitely for me then when golfers think well that's too low again I need to get underneath the ball and that's that falling back low points then behind the ball they either fat it or worse they miss the ground the club travels up and they top it so definitely with fairway woods and hybrids that ball slightly forward in your stance Get that slightly forward, still having that low point ahead, focusing ahead, but the club's gonna move more shallow. You're gonna keep more loft. And like we saw, should make it nice and easy to hit some really good shots with our fairway woods. And I'd absolutely take those any day of the week. Now the driver becomes the final part of the puzzle, doesn't it? And I do see a lot of golfers who say, I'm really good with shots on the floor, but I struggle like mad with driver. Equally, I do see some golfers who say I'm very good with driver, but I struggle on the floor. And hopefully what you'll understand from today's video as well, is if you're somebody who always gets that low point ahead of the golf ball, when the shots are on the floor, that's gonna be fantastic. But with driver, you're going to be taking all the loft off and then you might be manipulating to get the ball in the air. But equally, if you're somebody who gets your low point behind with driver and hits it great when the ball's up in the air, you might struggle when the ball's on the floor. So the change with driver is obviously we're going to move the ball even further forward. So potentially now moving the ball forward of our low point. As we set up though, we're gonna put a little bit more spine tilt away from target. So bump those hips slightly towards the target. Have a couple of practice swings. Even if you do touch the floor, make sure that you touch behind the ball. And I actually quite like that as a feeling, even though I wouldn't repeat it in the swing, I like to feel that that low point's well behind the ball. And then I can set up, put a swing on it, and even though that one's a little bit down the left, we can see my low point 5.4 inches behind. Clubs traveled up 3.8 degrees. And for me, 232 yard carry, just under 270 total. So I'm delivering the club traveling up there, whereas with the irons and the fairway wood, the club was traveling down, but I'm not trying to hit up or hit down. I'm just controlling where the lowest point of my swing is. And by controlling the lowest point, that gives me that perfect angle of attack. So once I can hit up with driver, can I then really generate some speed, hit up by controlling that low point and get one out near that magic 300 yards. It felt solid, a little low on the face but nearly six inches behind with the low point, 3.8 degrees up, 260 carry and 281 total. So you can see it's so important to control that low point so that the club is delivered as efficiently as possible 
to help you hit good shots. But like I said, you know, is this a secret in golf? It is if you don't know about it, but if you've watched today's video, it's no longer a secret. And it is something that I talk about a huge amount in my coaching. And if you can get better at that, it's gonna get you that little bit more like the best players in the world. So you can see from the video there, so important that we learn to control our low point of our swing and that whenever the golf ball's on the floor, whether that be irons, hybrids, fairway woods, that that low point is in front of the golf ball, so after the ball. Whereas with driver, if we're gonna optimize driver, we want that low point behind. But get away with that idea of thinking about hitting down, hitting up. If you control your low point, you are going to get the club moving down or up or more shallow into the ball and keep it nice and simple. But you can see by focusing on the golf ball, it makes it incredibly difficult. So if you can focus ahead when the ball's on the floor, behind with driver, you are really gonna start striking those clubs much better than ever, hitting it longer, hitting it straighter, and just generally playing better golf than ever before. So if you have enjoyed today's video, like it and share it, comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. There's another video there for you to enjoy, hopefully help you with your golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.